When you step out your front door. I'm Jim Coach, President and CEO here at the Seeing Eye, and to my right is Dr. Lewis Chakran, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Seeing Eye. We're delighted to welcome you here tonight for the dedication of the Seeing Eye Path to Independence. Yesterday, the final graduating class of our fiscal year went home. That added another 18 graduates and their dogs to over 15,000 teams that had already graduated from the seeing eye since our, since our founding. For the last 46 years, those graduates have walked out this door behind Lou and me. They've started their journey toward a life of increased independence through these doors. But this class that left yesterday was the first class to start that journey, walking along the path to independence, paved with 6,820, you can check me if you want to go down the way, <laughs> bricks. If we were to lay these bricks end to end, we would have a row of bricks that would be uh, 4,696 feet long, almost a mile in length. That's three and three-fourths times the height of the Empire State Building. More interestingly, little known facts about bricks here. By the way, we have some folks from the uh, paving company that helped us do this, so I'm, I'm being tested here on my brick knowledge. Uh, the, the bricks weigh 50,695 pounds. Wow. That's nearly 28 tons. Now, folks, 28 tons is a lot of bricks. But let me put this in context for you. This is half of the number of tons that we feed our dogs at the seeing eye in, in one year. So, just a lot, yeah, that's a lot more. Four hundred and fifty-eight of these bricks are engraved, and you'll find the names of donors who helped make the mission of the Seeing Eye possible through their generous support. You'll find the names of puppy raisers who take seven-week-old puppy raisers and do all the hard work of socialization and take in basic training with those dogs. And then the even more difficult task of bringing those puppies back and giving them back to us. You'll find the names and messages from dog adopters who welcome our career change dogs into their homes or into other jobs. You'll find Seeing Eye trustees, volunteers, and staff members, past and present, who dedicated their time and energy. You'll see messages from graduates themselves on these breaks. Time and time again, we hear from our students that as amazing as our instructors are, sometimes the best teacher is that other classmate who's here attending class with them. The Seeing Eye is very proud of its history as the first guide dog school, and you are all a part of our history, and hopefully of our future. I talked about the last class. Well, next Saturday, the first class of the next fiscal year will arrive. Some will be experienced dog handlers, while others will be here getting their very first Seeing Eye dog. Regardless, thanks to your generous support, these students will be the first of men to be welcomed by your messages of love and encouragement as they're engraved out here on the bricks. We can't thank you enough for creating this path to independence. And now, Lou and I are going to uh, cut, cut the ribbon. After we do that, I invite you all to, even though it's raining, walk out here, walk across the brick path to independence, and then please re-enter by the door to my left. And there's more refreshments. We will be doing to tours. There are no students in the house. We'll include tours of the dorms and other parts of the building. So there will be tours. Please stay and visit with us. Uh, and again, thank you so much for what you do for the seeing.
Seriously, so along with my love, I give you. 